Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to work on my napkin journal. Um, here is uh, what I have always. Uh, this I created myself. Um, I just uh, cut some mixed media papers uh, in the sizes that I want and I stapled them in the middle. Uh, and I have a video uh, to show how I did it. Uh, it's in the playlist uh, for napkin journals. Uh, so I'm going to link it down below at the description area. And I have a lot of uh, napkin journal uh, videos uh, in that playlist as well. Um, I have these two beautiful napkins today that I want to play with. Uh, at first glance you may think hmm, they don't match. But uh, you will see that um, I will create a holistic page with it anyway. And they, they actually contrast really well. So I think it will be a striking page. Uh, and you will see how I'm going to uh, make it cohesive, adding elements uh, to the um, uh, to what I have here uh, to make them uh, uh, go together uh, in harmony. I removed the backings of the uh, uh, napkins. There are generally two uh, two pieces of uh, backings in in the napkins. Um, so you need to remove them, otherwise it creates bulk at the back and it doesn't uh, look good when you glue them down. Uh, I'm going to uh, just separate, rip off the parts that I want to use in uh, each of the napkins. Uh, and I use uh, my... Um, this is the second layer as you see. It's uh, a bit more difficult to rip it off, but uh, it comes off uh, eventually. And I'm looking at the composition, how I want to uh, create this page. Um, and again, I'm uh, ripping off the parts uh, that I want to use uh, so that I can uh, create a composition that I like. I glue down my napkins uh, with a matte medium. Don't forget to uh, rip off the hard edges. Uh, if you have the hard edges, it's uh, harder to... Um, to blend it into the uh, page uh, but it's easier if you rip it off and make it uneven and not hard edges. Um, I'm going to go around the page with this beautiful uh, flower napkin and uh, the three angel girls will be my focal point. Napkin journals are great to create quick and easy pages Today I uh, spent a little bit more time than I usually do, but I really like the outcome, so it was totally worth it. Um, now it's time to blend everything uh, together. Uh, I have these Arteza paints, uh, very light blue, arctic blue I think, and uh, sky blue. So I'm using my fingers to uh, blend everything in, uh, and I will use uh, other colors too of course. Uh, to bring everything together. Uh, it's such a fun uh, thing to do, to try to blend in napkins and the result is always so satisfying when you just can't see if it's a napkin or something you drew in. Um, I think it's a lot of fun and uh, I think it's perfect for beginners uh, to do art journaling because uh, you don't need to think about colors, you just need to match them. Uh, I have other uh, colors like this, uh, a cherry red and a pink, uh, again uh, these are Arteza mixed media paints. And I am just using my finger to go through the edges. Uh, I always um, uh, give a little bit of uh, color on the edges too, because uh, then uh, you have paint everywhere. Uh, your napkin blends even uh, easier. Uh, there is a bit of lilac in the uh, in the red uh, napkin actually so I'm using a bit of lavender too uh, for everything to come together and all these colors go actually really well together. I'm going to introduce a little bit of coral um, salmon uh, color um, also again I'm looking at the napkin and then there is a bit of that color as well there and as you see how I'm uh, also going over the napkin so that everything looks like uh, they belong to one piece rather than <coughs> pure napkin on one side and paint on the other side and I'm just having fun uh, playing with paint with my fingers um, and if you don't want to uh, 
use your fingers always you can use a brush a, a baby wipe that is not too wet uh, and I'm mixing the colors uh, on the side as well and just making sure uh, this is all um, a cohesive piece of art and I really love how it's looking at the moment I'm also using a baby wipe and I don't like uh, something I did uh, or if I want to blend uh, softer uh, it helps a lot uh, so it's all a, a play of what you want to see on your page uh, and I am absolutely lo loving it uh, a little bit of uh, red here will give also a ground for the girls to stand on and after uh, I'm happy with it I'll leave it on the side to dry now I'm going to uh, color this uh, cardstock with uh, the cherry red that I was using uh, you will see that I'm going to use my uh, Martha Stewart punch with all the heart, uh, hearts on it uh, this is one of my favorite tools in my stash uh, I, there is a uh, butterflies and flowers as well and it's so versatile that I can use it for uh, everything and this is how I'm what I'm going to do I will put these hearts on my girls uh, dresses and that's the way I'm going to make all this thing uh, all cohesive uh, uh, there is red on the other corner of the page and uh, putting those hearts uh, will bring everything together it's a very small touch but it makes all the difference believe me um, before I do that I decided to add some uh, beautiful gold on my page so I took this stamp which is like wine leaves uh, from Fiskars and it doesn't matter which stamp you use whatever you have in your house I just went over the page with my um, powder pillow that uh, uh, prevents the Versamark uh, ink to stick somewhere else other than where I am stamping it and I'm using my wool uh, gold uh, embossing powder uh, to emboss uh, a little bit of that stamp uh, all around the napkin this will allow me uh, to have some gold accents all over my page and give a really nice uh, shine um, while not uh, covering all this beautiful uh, napkin uh, that and the background that I worked on uh, I'm going to do a little bit of that so it's like a um, it will be another layer on top of my background uh, and after I heat set uh, all that gold you will see it very clearly from the pictures uh, in the end uh, how shiny it is I'm just uh, sticking my hearts uh, on my uh, girls and this is going to be my sentiment this is an old sticker set uh, in my stash that is uh, transparent with gold uh, writing on it uh, but I'm going to stick it on a blue background because I think that will be make things more prominent I'm using the same sky blue uh, uh, acrylic paint to cover this cardstock again uh, and I'm going to stick these uh, stickers on top of this glue um, so that uh, the, um, the colors will go and also it will be more legible and I'm just cutting it in small pieces be happy, be bright and be you uh, there are three girls and three uh, sentences uh, and I just uh, I think it goes very well with this uh, positive page as you see you can also alter your stickers uh, the way you want uh, there are a lot of things you can do with your uh, stash uh, with what you have change them color them cut them uh, shape them in a way you want um, so I'm just using my glue uh, to stick down these three sentences on the side of the page where I have the red napkin so you see how the uh, blue made, made a contrast against that red and it stands out quite well and I'm just uh, making a frame with a white gel pen the gel pen I'm using is from Arteza I'm not sure if they have these in stock but uh, check it out on their website or on Amazon and uh, finally I'm making some white splashes uh, to bring everything together 
uh, it always uh, makes a difference uh, and I'm doing some little uh, white uh, highlights on the hearts uh, of the girls and I think I'm done with this page I'm absolutely in love with it I uh, I think it's so beautiful so serene and happy uh, and the colors create a really nice contrast here you can see the pictures and uh, see how gold uh, accents make a difference how shiny they are uh, and I love blue the light blue and red cherry red uh, together a lot uh, I hope you enjoyed it uh, I enjoyed creating this a lot uh, don't forget to leave me a like comment or uh, subscribe to my channel Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.